Chitakujo is a Japanese word for chit chat and is the name of a presentation format created in Japan in 2003 by Astrid Klein and Mark Dyson, two architects looking for a way people could share their work quickly and simply in public. Since then, the idea has spread to over 700 cities around the world. At every Pechakucha night, creative thinkers come together and share their ideas with only 20 images shown for 20 seconds each. Pechakucha, a fast fun format. Find a location, join the conversation. Warren Bennis defined leadership as the capacity to translate vision to reality. The trouble is, there's no telling the value of the vision. A gifted leader can realize a horrific vision, and a beautiful vision is of little value without leadership. No doubt you've seen this played out in your schools. The gifted leader who rallies his friends to bully another student, or the withdrawn student who has a beautiful vision for all that the school could be. How do we get the first student to listen to conscience and the second student to step up? The Hyde Inner Leadership Model is designed to help students on their journey toward their best possible selves, toward their unique potential. Imagine your unique potential is at the summit of a distant mountain. Our task is to continuously strive to reach that summit. On a sunny day, that task is easy. You follow the trail. When times are easy, it's easy to be our best. But a storm can blow in at any moment, reducing visibility. Think of a storm in your life. A loved one passes away. You're forced to relocate for work. It's easy to lose sight of who you are in the face of such adversity. The stress can cause us to focus on avoiding painful feelings rather than on pursuing our best selves. You need a compass to keep you pointed in the right direction. Character. At Hyde, we teach character with these five words. When I feel lost, I can focus on these words to get myself back on track. But it would be silly for me to leave on an expedition alone with only a compass to guide me. I need a team. That team must have shared principles, which tie it together like a rope team, creating trust, support, and teamwork. A supportive community helps us keep on moving in the right direction. Others can help us make decisions, see things we can't see ourselves, inspire us, and motivate us toward our best selves. The final piece of our leadership model is tools for the journey. The mountain environment is complex and riddled with challenges, much like life. Often, we need finely crafted tools to surmount these obstacles. If you want to get the job of your dreams, you'll need to do well in the interview so you'd better have public speaking confidence. At Hyde, everyone, every student, every faculty member, must sing a cappella by yourself in front of at least 30 of your peers. Every senior gives a speech at graduation. Students are called upon regularly to speak in front of the entire school community. We call this public speaking cross-training. You'll need the support of those around you, which means you'll need to be able to build and maintain meaningful relationships. This means having difficult conversations, as well as sharing the truth, even when that is challenging. Faculty model this, but also help guide students through the compassionate confrontations they need to have with each other. In order to get where you want to go, you'll need to do things that you've never done before you'll need to tackle challenges that are outside your comfort zone. Students and faculty participate in a performing arts show every family weekend, specifically to put them on a level playing field and get them a little outside of their comfort zone together. You'll need a clear vision of your goal, your best self, as well as where you are now. That's the only way to know what you need to get where you want to go. The two tools we use to develop this self-awareness are the action reflection cycle and providing ample opportunities for feedback from both faculty and students. We all have patterns of thinking, feeling, and behaving that are developed during our upbringing. You'll need to understand your family context in order to take hold of your strengths and let go of those things that are holding you back. Our family-based approach to character education helps both students and parents understand their family context. 
If you work at a day school, you may have to do all of this in the classroom. Have students reflect at the end of a class period or group project, what went well? Where did I struggle? What can I do differently next time? Have a character word of the day and a student to identify a place where that quality was needed or demonstrated in class. Be intentional about teaching public speaking basics. Then give students oral presentations to practice. Encourage students to have difficult conversations with one another about completing their homework on time or staying focused in class. Ask students to identify a time in each class where they were pushed outside their comfort zone. But if you're going to teach something, you also need to assess it. You need to know that your methods are working, your students need to know how they are doing, and assessment just helps bring clarity to exactly what it is you are trying to teach. We partnered with the Institute for Excellence and Ethics to help us create an assessment tool. Previous assessments have taught us that personal narratives are great for teaching reflection as well as getting feedback. They are less steeped in judgment and students find it easier to tell the truth. However, ranking questions provide clarity of expectations and also quantifiable evidence of growth or otherwise. We implemented both to get the best of both worlds. It's important for students to assess themselves, to teach self-awareness, create a connection to conscience, <clears throat> create a connection to conscience and, um, <clears throat> and help them become their best. But it's also important for students to receive feedback from others, both faculty and students, to get diverse perspectives on themselves uh, and thus see more of the truth. Our solution to that problem was to put the entire school in the dining hall, give every student a self-evaluation, then give them three peer evals and three faculty evals and have them pass them all out at once. That sounds like a complete disaster, but it was a total success. Students love the process and they often stick around afterward to have follow-up conversations. Since implementing this program, our school culture has shifted. Students see the purpose of our faculty and our school as a support to help them toward their best selves. That's why we do everything we do. We want to help students be authentic, have character, and be able to lead themselves. This inner leadership creates a strength which is inspiring and will become the powerhouse that drives their outer leadership. I hope that I have shifted your perspective today to see our role as schools as helping students discover and develop their own unique potential to create tomorrow's leaders from the inside out. <laughs>